it matters to you, it matters to him. Isn't that awesome? Er det viktigt för dig? Er det viktigt för han? Er det så fantastiskt? I was um, I was in my office preparing for for this morning. Det var skrivstånd här för dig med morgon. And I had no idea what to talk about for once in my life. Du visste ju annars ska skulle snacka om först för lövnan. I always have something to say. Vi har alltid också att säga. All over now we have the gift of tongues. Vi har tungetal gavna. Or the gabbles. Det mm. går. And um and 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 I was just thinking there's just this amazing conference going on this weekend. Vi också här en så deilig rastöna som är viktig just nu. So I asked Ijoma Surely the guest speaker wants to speak Sunday morning instead. Oh, I I got it all planned out. I'm not even going to have to speak. Yes. She's like, I'm so sorry, but she's flying at 11 o'clock Sunday. All right, Lord. Okay, Harry. So I'm I'm looking at my computer screen. Hit your share the telt now. All right, worship music. That gets me in the mood. Oh, oh, Los Anger, if you're telt now. Play some worship music. Well, Los Anger, how tough are we going? Nothing. Still nothing. I'm like, oh, great. Pure that time. All of a sudden, I hear this. Broccoli, I heard you bank. On on the apartment. Oh, up here, up here, up here. And it was our, our good friend Hildebrand. Oh, Hildebrand, who came from me. I don't know what he was doing or why he was driving, but he was driving around and he saw my car. He's like, do you have 15 minutes? And, and, and uh, we, just, we just got to talking. And prayed together. But he said this phrase to me. He says, if it matters to you, Manuel, it matters to him. And then the light bulb went on. And all kinds of scriptures and stories for this morning came. But, but to enjoy this message, we have to have a foundation, first of all, uh, that we have a, a good heavenly Father. All other theology, testimonies, experiences atlar upplevelser goda lärare teologier etla frasakner if they're not built on the foundation that god is a good god hvis det är byggt av grundvärden att god är en god god that he's a faithful father han är en true faster fair the building sooner or later is going to become crooked and fall down so a fredla sätten så skramlar byggningen samman but if the foundation is on that men hvis grunden är att vi, no matter what we're going through, what we're experiencing, och så kan vi gänga jag nu kan uppleva, we'll we'll be able to see the 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 what we're supposed to learn from it. Och kan vi kunna lära från det? How we're supposed to grow from it? Och så växa vi ur hos grunden i allt. And and how we're supposed to share it? Och så dela det vi andra. You know. Amen. Amen. So this is the scripture we're going to use. So het is Christa is som vi får gå ut från. This is 2 Timothy 2, 11 through 13. Det är Anna Timotheus har brått 2, 13. You can read it in fair ways. Yeah. 13 or 11 to 13. The whole thing, 11 through 13. Yeah. Hetta är trofast, eller det är trofast år. Då är vi dig vid honom, skulle vi dig snö leva vid honom. Halda vi dig ut, skulle vi dig snö roa vid honom. Av nokta vid skall han eisne av nokta ochkon. Er vid otryck verer han tau verande tryckvor. Det av nokta så sjolvan kan han inte. Amen. I learned this scripture in Bible school. I learned it as Christa i Bible school. And, and the biggest part that really stuck out to me. Och det som är det som är det här tydligt för mig. Where it says that even if we are faithless, he remains faithful. Er att ta i sjolvan verer otryck så verer han verande tryckvor. In one translation, is, is, it says it's just who he is. He can't deny himself. He doesn't have to act faithful. He is faithful. God doesn't have to show love. He is love, right? And so there, there, there's different things where it says if when we die with him, we live with him. If we endure with him, we reign with him. If we deny him, 
He will deny us. If we are faithless, he will be faithful. <laughs> I'm not telling you to, this is not a get out of jail free card or anything like that. Be faithless, church. Because he'll be faithful. Nothing like that. It's just his character though. So, so, so die with him. We get to live with him. Die with him. This, this, is, this is basic. Stuff we know like in, it says in Galatians, it says, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but it's Christ who lives in me. Amen? So, so, so we know this, that we die to our old self. So and receive a, a new life, yes? Vi vet att det är vid dig från och är ekna, ekna men det finns ju liv i honom. How many have experienced death? Kusen är här på en tava, vi har upplevat dig igen. Raise your hand. It could have been you, your own. Till ekna. Someone close to you. Och du tagit vid det. We've all experienced death, huh? Vid här var man eller man har upplevat dig igen och en av samman. We all have a certain level of... of, of experiencing what death does to a person. It's, it's nothing nice. You know, and, and maybe even our lifestyle leads to death. Before. I, I know I, I was living a lifestyle that led me towards death. Not just the, the drug addiction I had. But the people I was hanging out with. I remember uh, one time, me and two friends, we, we stole alcohol from a liquor store. And we ran out, we ran away, we got away with it. And then there was this car that drove by us real slowly. Turned around. And then pulled up again. And it was a it was a classmate from school. He was very high on drugs. He says, "Hey Manuel, come here." Hey Manuel, come here. I want to tell you something. So I stuck my head in the car because I knew him. So Elena in the in and he pulled out a gun and put it straight to my forehead. I could see the bullets because it was a revolver. You can see his eyes just raging red. He just started yelling at me. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. I heard you. Tell me the truth. Shaking, holding it right to my forehead. I just saw my life just flash by. And for some reason he's like, all right, get away from the car slowly. Okay, just walked away and he drove off. And just like in the movies, you just, I could have been gone right then and there. You know, that, that, that lifestyle, some of our decisions have, have led us down death row. It can seem hopeless. You know, and even after giving my life to Christ, I can say that I still have felt like I experienced death in the very presence of God. Maybe not in the same way as a gun being pulled to my head. But feeling so far away from God that I just felt lifeless. Have you ever felt that way? Where are you, God? I remember in, 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 in Denmark, I, I was working for a church that didn't pay me for three years. <laughs> broken promise after broken promise. You know? And I was just like, God, where are you in this? I thought he, I thought he left me. Yeah, he left me. I was far from him. So I did the only thing that I could do. So I just did the only thing I could do. When nobody was home, I, I blared the worship music and I just started yelling at God. When you were at home, I called the love song for fra or a ultimate God. And suddenly, this life, this peace came into that room. And suddenly, I saw that life was free and in the room. 
and 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 things started changing in my life. Life started coming back. We, we all know this scripture. You know, the, the thief he comes to still kill and destroy your life. He wants to steal your dreams. He wants to kill relationships. He will drop a forehold. He wants to destroy everything about you. But I'll let you all some have it here. But Jesus, on the other hand, when Jesus in me, he comes to give life. Han chem för jag live. How many have experienced life through death? Gus nega upplever live. Who is excited about life? After death. This doesn't have to be a down message. This could be an exciting message about God bringing life to a dead situation, yeah? I have many more testimonies about life coming from death. I have never been more excited. I, I, I tell people that my worst day with God is my best day away from him. Men bästa dag var från honom i min ringaste utan han. In Christ what was once dead. Vi var ena för dig i Kristus. Can have life to the fullest. Ja, vi var ena för dig kan ha liv till det full till fullna. Who's excited about that? Who is spent about that? Yeah. Life, huh? Liv, huh? Life not just up in heaven, not just in eternal uh, e- eternity. But life right now. Are we excited about what God is doing right now in Philadelphia? You know, I came in here Friday night excited. To this conference. And, 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 and I, I, I ran into Ijoma. I said, can you feel it? Can you feel it? She's like, yes, I can't wait. And the instant the worship started. Actually, the instant she came on stage and started preaching herself. He saw life coming. I saw people coming in like this. And leaving like this. There was life. In the presence of God. And that's something to get excited about. We can just end the message right there and say, let's be excited about life and say, death, where is your sting? But there's so much more. There's so much more. What about this? If we endure with him, we get to reign with him, yeah? Here's a scripture for you. This is Ephesians 2. You know, God already tells us who we are through his word. It's up to us to endure with him so that we get to enjoy reigning with him. You know, I, I, I thought of this phrase all by myself. I'm quite proud of it. Once a king, always a king. Huh? Once a queen, Always a queen. Or, or, or to my daughter, once a princess, always a princess. Deal with it, people. Your royalty. We need to stop running from it. We are royalty. We are royalty. My, my, uh, our, our uh, third child, Micaiah, um, when we were trying to figure out what to name this kid. My wife, she loves Hebrew names. I wanted him to be called Manuel James II. <laughs> and I won. So now his name is Micaiah Jax. <laughs> Micaiah means who is Yah, who is Yahweh. And he's a famous prophet called the prophet of truth. 
Och det är en känd profeter, eh äh, kallar för för profeten sannlagans profeter. One of the shortest stories in the Bible though. I know it's the Bronon Bognon Uibupne. It takes place where where uh, King Jehoshaphat is the king of Judah and King Ahab is the king of Israel. Det är tar Jehoshaphat och kung Judah och och en annan var i Norrland. And at this time King Ahab King Ahab Yeah, married to Jezebel. Han var gift med Jezebel. Yes. And and they were at peace with each other and they were also at peace with a country called Syria at that time. Och att var fri i landarna mellan But then Syria wanted to rage war. And so Ahab asked Jehoshaphat, "Hey, can you come and partner with me to fight my enemy?" So, so Jehoshaphat was a man after God's heart. Jehoshaphat han var en konkret och gudsjärsta. Ahab was not. Ahab var inte. They were both kings. They were both conquered. And so Jehoshaphat comes up to to Ahab. Jehoshaphat han nashkast Ahab. We need to hear from we need to hear from God. What are your prophets saying? Vi måste höra från Gud. Kan se att du är profeter. And so Ahab brings all of his personal prophets. Ahab han får sina profeter till sin. Oh, the war will be with you, my lord. You have victory. Och kruts är att du är sjuje till först att säkra. Jehoshaphat says. Jehoshaphat säger. Do you have a real prophet? Here's an ordinary prophet. One that actually hears from God. And some oracle heard from God. Ahab's like, I have one, but I don't like him. He's in jail right now. You have your eye on Damian Shorty. He's like, well, can you bring him out? 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 Can you bring Och han svarar att det är sarkastiskt. Mikael säger, "Oh, the war will be with you, just like your prophets are saying." Åh, ja, kruttje. Det är att tyna sig i akkurat som att det hinner profeten är. Ahabs look, just tell the truth. It's okay. Ahab säger, "Själv, fortell dem bara sannolikt. Det är lätt." All right. All right. <laughs> you're not only going to lose the war, but you're going to die in war, King Ahab. Du får inte spela tappa kruttje till vi dräper nästan. Got mad, threw him back in jail. Han äter efter brumarna. Never heard of Mikael till nu. <laughs> but this King Ahab, and there's an Ahab conquer. He tried to not be a king. He ran to at each of them conquer. He told Jehoshaphat, "Hey, you be the king that represents the military, and you go in front." I say Jehoshaphat, "Two skal vera conquer, or two skal lie here in the crutch." And Ahab he dresses up as a normal soldier, trying to hide from this prophecy. Try to hide from his mandate. Han rönner att kräva sig efter för nås mandat. To be a king. Till att vara en kung. He already ran from a mandate of being a king after God's heart. Han lo han det första så får han från flytta att vara kung efter Guds hjärta. Now he's just trying to run from his legacy. Nu rönner han bara like för från sin 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 är sin katte. So the war takes place. Och kruttje börjar. Battles going on. Some 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 random archer from the Syrian army shoots an arrow. On kurt lefeld i boa shoots the shooter and pull. But he shoots it just up in the air. Och han skjuter bara upp i luften. And guess where it landed? Skjuter kvar där inte. Into Ahab. Killing him. Dreper Ahab. Once a king, always a king. Ain't never conquered after conquered. What kind of king and queen do we want to be? Kastle av kungen och drottningen är jag vet att vara. I'm going to try my hardest to be the king, the royalty that God has called me to be. Ja, för att få några av de kungar efter att kungar lyckas skapa som god kallar mig till. The best example that I have. Bästa döme och mer för det. Is the servant king. Är det en tjänande kungar? Jesus. Jesus. Since we have the mind of Christ, we should have the attitude of Christ, which means the lifestyle of Christ. And what was he? King of kings and Lord of lords. We're not a god. How good? But Jesus in us is. And when we live out Jesus, we don't have to say, "Hey, we're a king." But we show them the king through our lifestyle. We point him to him. We point at him, sir, because we know and we have confidence in who we are. So you hold on, so can we have a lot of it? Royalty, like Peter says. So Peter says. But if we deny him, but if we deny him, he will deny us. 
Ouch. Ouch. This is what Jesus says in Matthew 10:33. It's supposed to be an uplifting, encouraging message, man, yo. Hello, what is going to happen? Turn, turn the, the, the boat, boat around. Vent button, we. Why are you threatening us? Queer. It's not a threat. It is an hot down. It's a promise. It's a lift down. It is. It is a lift down. Why would God continue to run after you if you don't want him knowingly? I'm not saying he will. And I'm not saying he won't. I'm just saying what the Bible says. If you deny him, he will deny you. There's plenty of parables, plenty of stories, and from Jesus' mouth has said that this will happen. But if you don't deny him, no matter what circumstance you're in, we have a faithful father. My favorite story of this in action is the two thieves that are being crucified with Jesus. Both are being penalized with ba- death on, on, on a cross for the same crime. One denies Jesus. So Jesus denies him. But one, in his circumstances, on his deathbed, he proclaims who Jesus is. And Jesus being faithful because he is God. Well, Jesus, he said, I promise you, today you will be with me in paradise. So you can focus on, oh, I better not deny him. Or you can enjoy knowing what happens when you proclaim his name in your life. Up to you. Up to you. Up to me. And it's not just your life as a, as a Christian, but it's in your everyday situations. What areas are we going to allow ourselves to say, I'm not going to deny God in this area, no matter how hard it is, but I'm going to proclaim his name in that. Because what I thought was dead and lost. I know that I know that I know that Heavenly Father has another plan. And I'm going to continue to proclaim life in that situation because I have a faithful Father. James 4 it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let, 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 let's draw near to him. Let's draw into his presence. Let's take everything, all of our baggage, and say, please help bring life to this life. Because if it matters to you, it matters to him. Nothing too small, nothing too big is unimportant to him. It matters to him. No matter how impossible it looks. And I know this is very abstract. But I'm dealing with it myself right now. I feel like getting a home is just a death sentence. That we're nowhere even close to getting a home for my family. We're being denied. But I, you know what? I, 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 I celebrate who my Heavenly Father is. 
Because everything is based on that he's a good and faithful father. And so when I hear testimonies of awesome things happening like that in other people's lives, I thought I was going to start playing the comparison game. I really did. But because before I made a statement to my Heavenly Father that I'm going to celebrate you in this time no matter what. The very first testimony I heard, I was excited genuinely for. I was so excited. I was so excited. How excited I was. I was like, what's wrong with you? Are you going insane, man? Are you just like lost your screws or what's what's happening? Why are you so excited? That was a really short translation of that. <laughs> because he's just so flipping amazing. God is so einer standard, fantastic. And it brings me joy to see someone else's joy complete. So if we are faithless, so om vi är outsikt, he remains faithful. Vär han alldeles väl? Because he cannot deny himself. Han kan inte ännu för sig själv än. If it matters to you, it matters to him, huh? Det är tydligen för dig, det är tydligen för han. Let's turn the coin around. Låt oss gå vända så att vi hinner så hinner minnen. You matter to him. Du har det tydligen för han. Because he matters to you. You matter to him. Because he matters to you. We need to accept that he's doing amazing things through us. Hey, we do care about God. I know you love him. I'm around a lot of you and I see the love of God just pouring out of you. Because he matters to you. What he's doing in your life matters because you love him. Be excited about that. You are, listen, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Så det är just rörigt gott och rätt vad jag har sagt. Så ska allt hitta omfram för att jag vill Guess what? Gjorde jag väl? You're doing this. Du just akkurat hitta. You're doing this. Du just det. Proclaim and say, I am living out my life with you, Jesus. Se det, jag tar det. Jag lever livet ut för dig. No matter how up and down it might seem in my own eyes. Och så går det svårt att se ut i mina ögon. You see what I'm doing for you. Så ser du vad det gör för dig. You matter to me, Heavenly Father. Du betyder något för mig. You matter to me. I want to build your kingdom. And guess what? We are doing it. So come on. So come on. Encourage each other. Comfort each other in this time of confusion. Comfort each other when, when, when there's death coming out of your mouth. Bring life to that person's situation. Because this is what we're doing together. If it matters to you, it matters to him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, it is such a joy to, to partner with you into building your kingdom into showing what heaven is like here on earth into showing our royal bloodline with a servant heart.